find traditional Hawaiian objects such as kapa, umeke, and many other sacred objects. Looking at the many colorful paintings of the people, villages, and scenery, can you imagine what it was like to live in old Hawaii? In the Pacific Gallery, images of gods and ancestors are abounding. Masks like this were believed to prevent hurricanes, and ones like this encouraged the growth of yams The Philippines Gallery is full of articles from everyday life, such as hats, clothing, and carved spoons for eating. There are hand-woven pieces of cloth that you can pull up over your body and wear as a dress. Some of our many colorful Japanese kimonos are covered with patterns. This samurai armor was once worn by a warrior, and these large decorative screens were used to divide rooms. Ceramic vessels from Korea were dipped in a pale green glaze called Saladon and was prized throughout the world. This wooden chest has many small drawers to keep medicine at hand and organized. The Chinese were known for clay pieces made of pure white clay called porcelain, which were then beautifully decorated. The oldest piece in the museum here is 7,000 years old. There are also many objects created that were buried in tombs. There is an entire room dedicated to calligraphy and paintings of the scholars. Chinese landscape paintings can be very tall or very long and some may even appear on fans. Indian craftsmen used every piece they made to tell stories about creation or adventure. Sculptures seem to dance and move even though they're made of stone. Is your front door carved with flowers like this? No time for it all? Well, with your free family pass, of course you must return. Oh, the places you will go!